Now, we are always growing on our production here on Center Circle. Every year we add a little bit more and we are thrilled what we have for you now. The 2009 National Soccer Hall of Fame induction class. We are going to announce the newest members of that Hall of Fame, which of course is in Oneonta, New York. If you haven't had a chance, get down there. The who's who, the greats of U.S. soccer are there. And it's a great time if you're in northern New York State area. All right, so without further ado, I believe it is now my honor to hand it over to Mark Rogandino. Yeah, thanks so much, Max. Obviously uh, an exciting time here for uh, all kinds of soccer fans and especially for U.S. soccer with regards to the Soccer Hall of Fame. And uh, here to join me to help announce two new inductees joining a long list of already great players there in the Hall of Fame in Oneonta, New York, is none other than the Soccer Hall of Fame President Steve Bauman. Well, thank you, Mark. Uh, the Soccer Hall of Fame is really pleased to be here this year and thank NSCAA and uh, Fox Fo Soccer Channel for all that they've done to make this possible to make our announcement here. Uh, and I'm pleased to announce that for 2003 we have two new inductees to the National Soccer Hall of Fame. First inductee is Joy Fawcett. For over 15 years, Joy Fawcett anchored the back line as a member of the U.S. Women's National Team. She earned 239 caps, which is the fourth most in national team history. Joy was a stalwart defender on four World Cup and three Olympic teams, winning the World Cup in 1991 and 99, and an Olympic gold medal in 96 and 2004. A three-time All-American from UCAL Berkeley, she was also an All-Star for the San Diego Spirit in the WUSA. She is the eighth woman player to be inducted into the National Soccer Hall of Fame. A consummate defender, Joy uh, received only one red card and two yellow cards in her total international career. She just picks your pocket as she goes by, is how national team coach Tony DeChico described her seemingly effortless and wonderful defending style. Joy Fawcett, 19, uh, 2009 inductee into the Hall of Fame. Joy. Thank you, it's great to have you all here and what a surprise and I'm so honored to be in the company of such distinguished coaches, players and leaders in soccer. And I wanna thank my family and friends um, and my teammates because there's no way I'd be up here without their support and help. And um, it's great to be honored and with in a game that you love and enjoy playing every day. So I want to just thank you and um, I'm very proud to be up here. Thank you, Joy. Thank you, Joy. Uh, the second inductee for the class of 2009 is defender Jeff Agus. Over an 18 year career for the U.S. men's national team and for Major League Soccer, Jeff Agus excelled as one of the nation's top defenders. He earned 134 caps, which is second most in U.S. national men's team history. He represented the U.S. Uh, in the 1998 and 2002 World Cups, as well as the 2000 Olympic Games. Jeff was a defensive stalwart for five of the first eight MLS champions, the first three with D.C. United and the last two with the San Jose Earthquakes. Jeff was also uh, a member of the MLS best 11 in 1997, 99, and 2001. A four-time NSCA All-American at the University of Virginia, he led uh, the Cavaliers to the 1989 championship uh, for the NCAA. When asked about the essence of his, of, of his play, Jeff replied, you've got to play with your heart and your head. You can't play with one or the other, or you'll get killed. I'm proud to present Jeff Agus, class of 2009. Thank you, Steve. I'd like to thank the uh, Hall of Fame. I'd like to thank Jack. Uh, this really is an honor. I'd like to thank all the people who voted for me. I'm extremely privileged and humbled uh, to be here and being inducted with somebody like Joy, uh, who personifies excellence. Uh, I said this before, but I think it's very true. You never stand here alone. There's a, 
people who, fought, who are behind you and contribute to your success. Uh, my family, my wife, Natalie, my daughters, Violet, Emma, my parents, my club coaches. There's just been so many people along the way from driving, driving me to uh, club games when I was a kid to going to college and then professionally. Uh, I've had some very special people along the way who contributed to the success and I'm very grateful. Um, I appreciate the honor and I'm looking forward to it. Thank you. Well, it certainly looks like the uh, Hall of Fame is putting together a good core of defenders here. Again, a huge congratulations to both Jeff and Joy. And don't forget, they'll be joining the panel over at the uh, quick goal set in just a bit later on in our show. And August 2nd is going to be the official induction ceremony back there in Oneonta, New York. So if you want to get a chance to get back there and see some of these great players along with the rest of the hall, certainly that would be the date to do it. Max? Great job, Mark. And to all the people there, the National Soccer Hall of Fame and on our return, Joy and Jeff will join us on the panel. Yes, we will talk to the two new members of the hall. Don't go anywhere. We're in the center circle of the NSCA convention in St. Louis.